Good day and welcome to Medical Moron. Today we talk about vasectomies. It's a simple surgical procedure that prevents sperm from mixing with ejaculate and thus eliminating the potential for the females to become pregnant. The semen ejaculate still exists, but it has no sperm in it. The gig is up. The boys have caused enough trouble and need to be put away. But before you can put them on lockdown, you need to know about their hideout. This is how it works. anatomy uh, this year the testes the sperm leaves the testes through this coiled tube here it's called the epididymis that's where the boys hide the bullets okay it's like an armory well kind of like an armory except for one difference it's kind of like a maturation chamber as well it takes 74 days about for your sperm to fully mature Okay, so each epididymis is attached to a, an, an ejaculatory duct, uh, like a long tube here. Okay, it's called the vas deferon. It goes all the way up here. Vas runs from lower part of the scrotum into the groin area. And into the pelvis and behind the bladder. This is where it joins the seminal vesicle right here and forms the ejaculatory duct okay it all mixes to form semen which is ejaculated out here the urethra okay now this brings me to the last part of this video you know i said last part i'm going to change that i'm actually going to put this piece near the front of the video uh, reason is I suspect a lot of people turn it off at this time. You already know what I'm going to ask. However, I will tell you this statistic looking at my analytics. I find a lot of people are watching the video. Very few are subscribed. So get on your Google, sign in, create your account. doesn't cost anything. Press subscribe. Let's talk about the procedure. Usually it's done in the doctor's office can be an outpatient clinic or an OR. You and your doctor will talk about the anesthesia. You officially consent to the procedure with a signature. Upon arrival to the OR, you're sedated, then clipped and prepped according to the hospital policy. The doctor begins. Local anesthesia is injected into the scrotum. Conventional vasectomy requires one, sometimes two small cuts they're made into the scrotum to reach the vas deferon. The vas deferon is cut and a small piece may be removed. Again, about that size. The ends may be cauterized, tied, put tissue between, or a facsimile of all three. The scrotum is closed with dissolving suture. This is repeated for the other vas deferon, either through the same cut or another one. The no scalpel method. The surgeon feels for the vas deferin along the sac, clamps it, holds it with a clamp. Tiny hole is made, it's stretched open. The vas deferin is pulled through and cut, cauterized, seared, put back in place. Risks, bleeding, swollen scrotum or pain, call the doctor immediately. Fever, redness or soreness, check for infection. Some men have what's called post vasectomy pain syndrome. Usually it's treated with anti-inflammatories, goes away. It's rare. Vasectomies have no effect on hormone and drive levels. We'll talk about this later, but I don't want to lose you folks. Post-op, you may feel pain for a few days. Usually mild pain medications will work for this control. Any more than mild pain may indicate an infection. And it should get better with time, not worse. Most will be discharged immediately following procedure. No sex for three to seven days, 
ice pack support, most will fully heal in about a week. Many American men choose to have vasectomies. It's a very common procedure, roughly half a million per year according to different studies. Vasectomies don't immediately work as there may still be sperm in the pipe. So you should be tested after about three months. The testes produce the sperm, tries to go up the pipe, but if it's cut, it's not gonna go past this point. However, you still have a lot of pipeline left. Some more than others. That is what is holding sperm currently. It takes about 20, 25 ejaculates or uh, a testing in about three months maybe uh, to find out if you actually still have sperm. That's if you really want to prevent the pregnancy, which I'm assuming you would want to, the reason you're having vasectomy in the first place. Quick answer questions. What I was alluding to earlier. Will the body still make sperm? Yes, the testes still produces sperm, but it will be soaked up by the body. If the pipeline's cut, sperm's not gonna go through it. You should not notice any change in the ejaculate volume. Orgasms should not be affected, although in rare cases, post-vasectomy pain may be present. We talked about that earlier. A vasectomy does not cause erectile dysfunction. Vasectomies won't kill your drive. The testes still produces testosterone and it's still absorbed by the body in the same way. So vasectomies won't kill their drive, your drive. More of a risk for females to sterilize than a man, absolutely true. Uh, it's a lot more of an in-depth procedure for women to have their tubes tied and sterilized in that manner than it is for a man to have his vast effort clipped. Failing vasectomies is rare, uh, about one in 2000, again, according to different studies I've read, and it's likely the cause of leftover ejaculate. So again, the pipeline's cut, whatever's left in the rest of the pipe is leftover ejaculate, which can have some sperm in it. Rarely, the testicular artery is affected. However, it can be, it's right next to the vas deferin. A surgeon, very careful to avoid this. It's very rare, but if the artery is affected, it may cause bleeding into the scrotum. Watch for that. You can still father children post vasectomy if you have frozen sperm. If you don't have frozen sperm, you'll require an additional procedure to put the vas deferin together. This can be done. Usually doesn't work as well. This can be done by reversal or by in vitro fertilization from sperm taken from the testy and used in the in vitro fertilization procedure. So the latter two can be very expensive. So maybe just a conversation prior to the vasectomy will heal that issue. Ah. Eliminating the and thus eliminating the eliminating the potential for the females to become pregnant. Good day and welcome to Medical Moron. Today, we good day and welcome to Medical Moron. Today we talk about Good day and welcome to Medical Moron. Today we talk about vasectomies. It's a simple procedure. Oh, come on. You learned about vasectomy today. Pick one of those, learn about that. Hopefully I do a good job on it for you and get better in the future. Bye for now.